Nadia Whiting here in Hartsville, South Carolina, and we're going to be talking about cryptocurrency. What do people in this area know about it with Crypto Combos? I'm here with Sarah. I have one question for you, Sarah. How do you feel about cryptocurrency? Oh, Lord. I'm not well educated on that subject. <laughs> do you know anything about cryptocurrency? Not really. Like, it's a digital currency. The way of the world now, we're moving towards that. How do you feel about that? I don't know. Sorry. Do you trust anything? Like our money being like not tangible anymore? No more paper, just strictly on the internet kind of? Like, well, I mean, I just use my debit card and credit card usually yeah. anyways. I don't have a lot of cash with me, so. So moving into that digital currency won't be, won't be an issue for you? I guess not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you. I appreciate it. I'm with Dan here. Dan, I have one question for yes, you. What do you know about cryptocurrency? Well, I'm too old to deal in it. I know that. I, uh, the fluctuations make me nervous. I'm more of a tangent guy than a non-tangent. So I don't invest in it, but I like watching it. Okay. So with our current state of the world moving forward in that direction, how do you feel about that? non cash society makes me a little nervous, right? Because I, I feel you devalue the dollar as you do it in plastic, right? They get their 3%, 100 becomes 97, or a $100 bill remains a $100 bill. So I think there's a devaluing effect that can take place, um, but there's also an ease of doing business, their safety and things like that. So uh, I'm a little nervous. I think it's generations away. I'll be in a grave by the time it actually hits, but I get where it's going. Yeah. Okay, so if you had a thousand dollars today and were willing to invest in it, what specifically would you invest in? Um, I'm still old school. I like uh, production. Technology has still been a uh, a big investment of mine. I mean, obviously, when I was younger, the Apple and Microsoft were big investments. So I would look probably more towards a young technology company. Tesla is always going to remain strong with the way they're going. So things like that. Okay. Yep. All right. Thank you so much. Yeah, I appreciate it. I'm here with Dave. Dave is the owner of Purs McBarkin. Tell us a little bit about that. I just uh, I retired uh, last year and I decided to open up a store. I always wanted to have a pet store, and we're kind of like in a quality dog food and cat food desert. And uh, this is how it came about. So I'm like living the dream right now. I'm very happy. First time in my life, I'm happy where I work. So. Awesome, awesome. Okay, I have a question for you. What do you know about cryptocurrency? Well, cryptocurrency. Uh, the only thing I have to say is that. Uh, uh, this goes out to Elon Musk. I want the Doge to go to the moon. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, so you know, you definitely know details about it being a digital currency and the way the world is moving with it. How do you feel about the way the world is moving towards cryptocurrency? Well, I don't think anybody really understands crypto. I don't. I have some, but I don't really understand it. So uh, right now, uh, I, I just like it to move in the up direction, which <laughs> doesn't happen too often, but uh, that's pretty much all I know. Yeah. And do you trust putting all your money into that? I don't trust anything. No, I, just to be honest with you, I don't trust nothing. <laughs> Being a business owner, do you like having paper over this digital form of currency that it could change into? Uh, right now, I like paper. Uh, maybe in the future. I'm kind of old school. Uh, we'll see what happens. Yeah. yeah, of course. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. If you like the content, please like and subscribe. It really does help. Thanks.